Caitlin Clark. 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 Oh, Hello, Dot Hoops family. Welcome back to another episode where we dive deep into the heart of women's college basketball. Today, we're focusing on a player who's not just making waves, but creating a storm in the basketball world, Caitlin Clark. A deep one. You back! Caitlin Clark! Gets it into Clark. Clark races away, and the mythical mastery of Caitlin Clark Her name is on the tip of everyone's tongue, and some are even calling her the greatest female college basketball player of all time. Let's unpack this monumental claim and see what the legends of the game have to say about her. Summer going to her senior year, I was in Chicago for uh, three days with, for the Girls AU Nationals. Yeah. Her team from Iowa, like, they played together so smooth, but she was always leading that. She always had the ball in her hand. Everybody was playing off of her. She just commanded the whole game. I'm like, who the hell is this? <laughs> Caitlin Clark isn't just playing basketball. She's redefining it. With a game that's as versatile as it is explosive, she's captured the imagination of fans and critics alike. But what exactly sets her apart in a realm filled with towering talents? Caitlin played four years of varsity basketball at Dowling Catholic High School, averaging 15 points a game as a freshman. Very impressive for such a young player, but that number grew to 27 points a game as a sophomore, and during her junior year in high school, she scored 60 points in one game. As a senior, Caitlin averaged 33 points per game, leading the state in scoring for the second straight season, and was selected as the Iowa Gatorade Player of the Year, and was selected to play in the McDonald's All-American game, but it was canceled due to COVID. Caitlin was heavily recruited and ultimately chose to stay close to home, attending the University of Iowa. Oddly enough, she wasn't offered a scholarship by UConn, a powerhouse in women's college basketball. While in college, Caitlin achieved the following milestones. She was the first player to record a 40-point triple-double in men's or women's NCAA tournament history. She was the first player to drop consecutive 40-point games in the women's NCAA tournament. She was the first Division I player to top 3,000 points, 1,000 assists, and 800 rebounds. And finally, Caitlin was the first Big Ten player to win every major National Player of the Year award. AP Player of the Year, the Honda Sports Award, the John R. Wooden Award, Naismith College Player of the Year, USBWA National Player of the Year, and the Wade Trophy. Despite leading Iowa State to two straight NCAA championship games and coming up short each time, Clark's tenure at Iowa State was nothing short of phenomenal. With each game, she not only shattered records, but also redefined what was possible, bringing a new level of excitement and excellence to women's college basketball. Caitlin's legacy at Iowa State is indelible, as she leaves as the all-time leading scorer in NCAA history. Her play has a team, a university, and fans nationwide. As she steps into the WNBA, she carries with her not just the hopes of a new team, but the expectations of an entire sport poised for evolution. In anticipation of being the first pick in the WNBA draft by the Indiana Fever, 36 of the Fever's 40 games will be nationally televised. That's called the Caitlin Clark Effect. To understand the magnitude of Caitlin's impact, we turn to the pantheon of basketball greats. Icons like Shaquille O'Neal, Charles Barkley, Steph Curry, and Luka Doncic have all offered their endorsements, a testament to her transcendent talent. But first, let's dissect her game and understand the buzz. Caitlin's basketball IQ is off the charts. Her ability to read the game, make split-second decisions, and execute with precision sets her apart. Whether it's sinking a three-pointer with a defender in her face or threading a no-look pass to a teammate, Caitlin's game is a blend of finesse and firepower. But it's not just her technical skills that have caught the eye of basketball royalty. Shaq, known for his dominant presence in the paint, praises Caitlin's ability to influence the game, likening her impact to that of the greatest in the sport. Perry and the Wildcats. I thought we were talking about Cl uh, Caitlin Clark. We are talking about her. Yeah. But, hey, that's but how did it get up around to Auburn and South Carolina? Well, we beat him by 55 last night, but who's counting? <laughs> Apparently you are. Yeah, but she's incredible. Congratulations incredible. to her and her family. Yeah. Like I, I, the crazy thing is I'm, I'm just seeing her last year when they uh, uh, played LSU, but she, she's phenomenal. 
I, I'm going to go on the record and say she's the best female collegiate player ever. Charles Barkley, always forthright with his opinions, celebrates her record-shattering performances, marking her as a generational talent. Well, it is. Uh, Caitlin, man, she's a phenomenon. It's, you know, I've actually you know it's really funny. I've been trying to get a chance to see her play in person, but I haven't been able to fit it into my schedule. I'm going to try to get that done in the next month or so. It's not easy, because if I do it, I'm probably going to have to get a private jet to fly the hour or somewhere on the road, because uh, I want to see her play in person. Uh, number one, congratulations to her. Also, we can't forget about Lynette Woodard. Uh, you know, because there's a debate on all these records and things, but, you know, because uh, Lynette Woodard, I think, probably still has the record, uh, but uh, she's not recognized. They didn't, they, they, that's how bad they treated women back in the day. They didn't even recognize their records. Uh, so shout out to Lynette Woodard, who was amazing. Uh, but Caitlin, man, what she's doing for women's basketball is pretty incredible. Now, you know, it's going to be interesting because... You know, the NCAA, they such damn boneheads. The sharpshooter Steph Curry, a maestro from beyond the arc, admires her scoring ability and her fearless approach to taking big shots. I saw somebody break down the release time, which is pretty much identical to mine. Uh, and then her just confidence. I, you, you can't help but watch when she plays, where she's shooting from, the range, the confidence. The flair, like she's a performer. Um, it's crazy though, just because her shot is it's like that. It's at that level. But if you really watch, like the her floor game is as impressive. So it's kind of the total package. Um, and her being the you know, friends of breaking that record and the uh, amount of attention that. She is, has gained over the course of these last couple of years. Every building she goes into is a different energy. Like it's great for uh, great for her, great for you know, women's basketball. Have you reached out to her? Luka Doncic, with a game that's as smooth as it is effective, believes Caitlin's shooting prowess might even eclipse his own. A statement that speaks volumes about her skill level. The accolades don't stop there. LeBron James views Caitlin as a beacon of excellence in basketball, a sentiment echoed by the likes of Stephen A. Smith and Shannon Sharp, who are captivated by her offensive mastery and her ability to dictate the pace of a game. With such high praise from the game's elite, the question arises, what makes Caitlin Clark the potential greatest female college basketball player of all time? It's a blend of raw talent, unparalleled work ethic, and an innate ability to inspire and lead. Caitlin's journey is one of dedication and passion. Her commitment to refining her craft, from grueling practice sessions to studying game film, highlights a work ethic that rivals the legends of the sport. Her leadership, both vocal and by example, lifts her team and ignites a fire in the hearts of aspiring athletes. But greatness in sports is often measured by more than just individual accolades and highlight real plays. It's about impact, influence, and the ability to elevate the game itself. Caitlin Clark does just that, challenging perceptions, breaking barriers, and setting a new standard for what's possible in women's basketball. Her journey is a beacon for the future, illuminating the path for the next generation of athletes. Caitlin's legacy extends beyond the hardwood. It's etched in the hearts of young players who see in her a model of excellence, determination, and grace. The debate about the greatest female college basketball player of all time is complex and nuanced, involving legends of the game whose impact is timeless. Yet, Caitlin Clark's name is rightfully part of this conversation, not just for her statistical achievements, but for her role as a trailblazer in the sport. What do you think, Dot Hoops community? Do you agree with the sentiment that Caitlin Clark is the greatest female college basketball player of all time and destined to be the greatest women's player of all time? Share your thoughts, your stories, and your debates in the comments below. This conversation is about more than just basketball. It's about the evolution of the sport and the heroes who drive it forward. If you're inspired by Caitlin's story and our dive into her impact on the basketball world, hit the bell icon, like and share this video with fellow basketball enthusiasts, and subscribe to Dot Hoops for more insightful content on the game we all love. Until next time, 
This is Dot Hoops, signing off.